Welcome back fellas and in today's video we are going to talk about some hidden WhatsApp tricks that every iOS user must know about. Now we say hidden because these tricks are not available directly on the first screen of WhatsApp and one has to dig deep into the settings or even use third party apps to know about them. Now you might know one, two or maybe a few more of these tips but do you know all seven? Well let's find out. This is Abhijit from GT and let's get right to it shall we? The first and probably the most useful feature for anyone using WhatsApp on an iPhone would be to able to send messages to a person without saving him or her as a contact. Now unlike on Android, there's not an app for that on the App Store. So we'll be using an iOS shortcut to get things done. Instead of writing a script from scratch, we'll be using a pre-written one that you can download from the iCloud link that we have shared in the description below. However, if this is the first time you're installing a script, you will have to take care of some security settings related to Shortcuts app for iOS. To do so, open up the settings, scroll down to Shortcuts and tap on it. Here under Sharing Security, enable the option Allow Untrusted Shortcuts. Once you have done that, open up the link and scroll down to select the option that says Add Untrusted Shortcuts. The shortcut will then ask you for your country code which should be entered without the plus sign and then tap on done. Now when you run the shortcut, it will ask you for the phone number you would like to send the message to and then it will directly open up the new chat window. You can run this shortcut every time you wish to initiate the chat with a person who is not on your contact list. To make things even better, you can actually add the shortcut to iPhone's home screen using the long tab option and you're good to go. A good start right? Well there are 6 more to go. And next is the option to secure WhatsApp chat with an additional layer of Face ID. So the Face ID to unlock the phone is secure enough but just in case you want to add an extra layer of security to WhatsApp, you can do that in the settings. To enable it, head over there and under Accounts, tap on Privacy. Then tap on Screen Lock and enable the option Require Face ID. Once you enable it, you can select if you would like to lock WhatsApp instantly or after a delayed time. Make your choice and your WhatsApp will require an additional Face ID unlock before you can access the chats, even if the phone is unlocked. The next trick is to send videos in full resolution. This way your videos will not be compressed by WhatsApp and lose out on details, which is what it usually does when you send videos. Now to do this, open up the Photos app on your device and select the video you wish to send. Here select the Share option and tap on Save to Files. You will then be asked about the location to save the video to and here you can select the on my phone option. Once that's done, open up WhatsApp chat, tap on the plus icon next to the chat window and select document. Under the recent files, you will find the video which you can send by a simple tap. If the file is less than 120 MB, it will be sent in full resolution without any compression or resizing whatsoever. The next two tips on the list are really helpful, especially during festive season when you tend to get a ton of forwarded greetings. The first method is to quickly get rid of this boatload of spam and this is about an option to mark all chats as read in bulk. To do so, tap on the edit option you see on the top left corner in the chat window. Here select the chats and then simply select the option read all. Easy right? And as far as I know this isn't available on Android. So a win for iOS right there. The second trick is about cleaning media files of individual chats or groups through a single tap. To do so, head over to WhatsApp settings and here tap on data and storage usage and then go to storage usage. This window will show you how much space each individual chat is taking up on your iPhone's memory. To clean a specific thread, tap on it and then select the option to manage once it opens up. All you need to do is select the kind of media files you would like to delete and tap on clear. You can reclaim so much of your iPhone space using this trick, so make sure that you do this periodically. Next tip on the list is about keeping your camera roll clean while saving the images you want to save. So by default, most of the iOS users disable the option save to camera roll so that spam messages don't show up in photos. When you keep this option disabled, each time you wish to save an image to camera roll, the option has to be selected manually, right? However, if there's a specific chat or a group where you would like to automatically save the media, it can be arranged. To do so, open up the chat thread and tap on the name up top and here you will find the option that says save to camera roll. You can tap on it to allow saving of images for that specific chat. And last but not least, let's have a look at how you can save incoming voice notes to files 
and even notes for iOS. You never know when you might require them. To do this, long tap on any of the voice notes and tap on the forward option from the pop-up menu. You'll see the option to share the voice note at the bottom right corner. You can either select to save the voice clip as an iOS note or save it to phones or iCloud drives storage. All right, so those were some of the WhatsApp iOS tricks we had up our sleeves. Sending a message to a new person using shortcuts is my personal favorite. By the way, this shortcuts thing on iOS is pretty cool. Make sure that you research on it and exploit it to the fullest. So how many of these WhatsApp shortcuts or tips did you know? Jump into the comments and tell us. And don't forget to show us some love by hitting the like and the subscribe options. This is Abhijit signing off and I'll see you guys in the next one.